today's video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the best running scheme in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, what my channel does is it posts four times a day here on YouTube and we stream every night at 10 o'clock Eastern. Videos that are designed to help you get better, give you new concepts, new schemes, new tricks, new tips, um, new things that you can apply to your game that are going to help you improve in Madden 21. And if you are interested in getting better at Madden 21, you can do that simply by playing better competition. And so if you're looking for a community, uh, maybe someone to get your questions answered, you can join my community Discord. That Discord is just an awesome place to be able to talk Madden every single day, but also be able to get your questions answered and to play lab games against better competition. There's a saying that it goes, you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. It's no truer than in Madden. When I play better competition, I get better. And so I just want to encourage you to consider joining the uh, Discord. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to be showing you um, a full scheme, um, or really it's a mini scheme, but it's a running scheme. And it's specifically out of the Pistol Ace formation. Now, this can be found in the Pistol Playbook. Um, it can also be found in the Seahawks Playbook and the Cardinals Playbook. Now, the plays that you're going to want to run are specifically found in the Pistol Playbook or the, or the uh, Cardinals Playbook. But it's Pistol Ace, and we're going to add... Um, power row, um, we're going to add strong power, and then we're going to add, um, in the in the uh, Seahawks playbook, there's actually a read option, okay? But I was just labbing this up, so I want to show you it out of pistol. We'll use the um, the uh, HB dive and HB slam to imitate what a read option is, right? But know that the read option is going to be better for you. Now, what I like to do is I just like to run it out of ace. And what's awesome is you can actually audible to this out of spread from the Seahawks playbook if you have the personnel with the formation audible. So this just is a really, really difficult scheme to stop. Now, it all starts with strong power. And guys, I just really believe strong power is back. I believe strong power might be one of the best runs in Madden 21, if not the best run. Because, and there's a very specific way you want to run this, but pistol running schemes are back this year. Let me show you real quickly here. So you're just going to let the play kind of develop. Um, you're going to let the play develop, and what you've got to make a decision on, and I like to run this basically like I ran wide zone in Madden, um, in Madden um, uh, 20, but literally what you're going to do is you're going to take about three steps to the right, and at that point you're going to make a decision, are you going to cut the play up or are you going to keep going to the right? Now, sometimes, as you see here, what's really, really important is to be patient with this run. This specific run is so good because you can flip it left and right and the defense isn't going to know and you're going to have those two tight ends now as you can see here one of the things that's really important with this run is the ability to be patient and allow your guards to pull if you allow your guards to pull you're going to get a plus one advantage and you are going to be able to roll um, i love using derrick henry in this scheme I, this is a really really good scheme for the tennessee titans specifically because of the fact that they've got some really really good tight ends but you see here i can get to the edge and i'm out it's a very, very simple running scheme, but it's very, very powerful when you understand that strong power is better than it's ever been. Now, you can run Power O here, and you'll see here, this is Power O. Now, Power O is more of an inside-based scheme. If they're spreading if they're spreading their defense out, you can use Power O. It's like right here, this is 3 through 5 spread. You can literally just slam this right up in the middle for a quick 5, quick 4 yards. Now, I also love to use the HP Dive, HP Slam um, against specific defenses. As you can see here, the inside runs in Madden 21 are so good, you don't really have to do anything to them. And because you now have a dominant outside run, they're going to have to worry about all sorts of stuff. So this is just a really, really good three-headed rushing attack. I love the fact that you can flip the play. So if I'm running Slam, I can flip the Slam, uh, slam style of run to the left, to the right. Now, one of the things that I do want you to understand is I think trucking is back. Um, I love trucking backs this year as well. Um, so when you're running, uh, you definitely want to square your shoulders and use that truck stick, that truck animation. One of the other things I do want you to know, and this is what going back to being patient, you, you can also mess around with some motion. Um, you see here, I'm going to motion the wide receiver to the right, and I'm going to snap the ball right about here. And now he's going to get a, he's going to get the block on the safety, and you're out again. So you can do different things with motion with this. And what's interesting is, let's say you do something like this, right? We're going to motion receiver away. And we're going to run to the tight end side. This, because you have two point guards, it, it opens up the possibilities. Now, 
Understand, the right side pulling guard, the play side pulling guard, is going to kick out. He's going to kick somebody out of the way. So he's a clear out type of uh, type of guy. The left side pulling guard is going to basically lead the play up. So the, the guard you really want to follow is your left guard. If he goes up, you follow that left guard, as you can see right there, and it's going to take you to the promised land. If you follow the left guard in this offense... It is going to help you dramatically because the left guard is pretty much going to tell you to cut it up or to not cut it up. If the left guard cuts it up, you cut it up. If the left guard goes outside, you go outside. That's a simple rule of thumb. But as you see here, I mean, it's really working for me. This, the blocking on this play is so effective. And what's really funny, and we're going to show you this in just a moment, this specific running scheme, we did get every now and then you'll get stopped, right? Just like with any scheme. But this specific running scheme is really, really good against meta run defenses. What I mean by that is some of the best run defenses in the game doesn't really um, doesn't really stop this scheme. At least in my opinion, it doesn't. I mean, you can. And what's also good is bl when they blitz everybody. That's kind of people's strategy to stop the run. Is they're just gonna blitz everybody. Blitzing people doesn't stop this run. Blitzing if you blitz people, it actually makes the run better. So here, this is a nickel 55 wide. This is the run defense that I use. And what you're gonna see is. Now, again, obviously I can't use her, but we're going to run to the weak side here. And literally, uh, we, we do get shedded there. But what you're going to see is the blocks are going to hold. The blocks are going to hold. You're going to get a wedge um, where you can basically bounce the run outside. The type of uh, leverage that the uh, tight end is going to take on this play is going to help significantly with this. So here, wide is out. And we're just going to be able to get to the edge. It's going to seal the edge out for us, and we're out for a good 15 to 20 yards. This is very, very consistent against 3 through 5 And you can run it against both sides. Um, again, I know 3 through 5 some people are using other defenses as well. I personally like 3 through 5 um, You know, I feel like 3 through 5 is the best one. But literally, you can get outside it. And then you make one juke or you do a stiff arm or you break a tackle, that's a touchdown. Literally a house call um, right out of this simple little run. Again, strong power. You're just going to follow that left guard. That left guard is going to tell you what to do. And most of the time with this run, just get going from experience running this, most of the time with this run, you're going to want to run it to the outside. There we're getting boxed up a little bit there. But most of the time, you're going to want it to uh, to run it to the outside. Uh, there, I seven, Isaiah Simmons just makes an absolute amazing play. But we'll show you here. Watch that left guard. Left guard's going to come up. And so we're going to follow right behind him. What you don't want to do is you don't want to hold turbo uh, until you're through the line of scrimmage. So... Here we're going to go follow our guard, follow our guard, follow our guard. And it's almost like very patient running. You really want to allow your guard the opportunity to get a feel. There you see, and there you see Derrick Henry just being a beast. But this to me is probably the best running scheme, at least in my opinion. You mix in a read option with this out of the Seattle playbook. This is going to be really, really good for you. So pistol, ace, strong power. Test it out. Let me know what you think. A lot of it's about being patient with your runs. But I have found this to be one of the best running sets that you can use in Madden 21. Now, again, if you are looking to take your game to the next level, what I want to encourage you to do right now, we post four times a day here on YouTube. We stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. So I want you to subscribe. I want you to subscribe so that that way you can know when we're going live. But even more than that, what I want you to do and what I think this would be so good for you to do is to join my Discord. My Discord is designed for you. It's designed to give you a place where you can meet other people who are playing Madden, where you can meet other people who are going to not only um, answer your questions, but then people that you can help too, right? Because it's not just one side. I've learned so much from my Discord members, and I believe that they've learned some things from me too. We learn from everybody. And so by having this Discord community, I've been so encouraged to see how it has helped not only me grow, but how it has helped every single person that's been a part of it grow into a better Madden player. So if you want to be a better Madden player, I want you to jump into that Discord. We will see you guys tonight on stream at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Be sure to subscribe so that you can know when we go live. We'll see you tonight.